All right, I'm going to show you in this screencast how we can borrow Excel functions in VBA to uh, create user-defined functions. Unfortunately, in just regular Microsoft Excel, there is no range function to calculate the range of uh, a data array. For example, the max minus the min. So in this case, the max is 10 and the min is negative 9. So we would like to be able to, to easily tell that the range is, is 19. Um, fortunately, there's the min function, which will tell you the minimum of a range, and the maximum function. So we can borrow those, uh, just like we can borrow all sorts of uh, Excel functions. We can borrow those min and max functions to create a user-defined function called range. So I'm over here in Excel. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring up a module, and let's go ahead and insert a new module. So I've named this range, I've dimmed my range as a range, and range is going to be a double. So there is no max function in, built into VBA, but what we can do is we can borrow Excel's max function and Excel's min function. And when I do that, we end up with the output of the function, which is range, is now I'm using application.worksheetfunction.max of the range. The range is the argument to the range function, so RNG is the argument. Uh, minus the min. So we're borrowing that from Excel when we do application.worksheet function. You could also just leave off the application. So that works um, since we're just associated with Excel, which is the application. So either with or without the application, um, regardless, we create the range. So let's go ahead and see if this works. So I'm going to type in range of this array and we end up with 19. So that's how you can borrow Excel functions. You can borrow all sorts of Excel functions. Excel has um, all sorts of built-in functions that you can, not all of them, but a lot of them you can borrow uh, in, when you're in VBA.